Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla pushes early Model X refresh orders back to July 2022. Massive new Tesla supercharger coming to Barstow, California. Tesla has around 1,046,080 battery cells in Fremont, awaiting shipment to Giga Texas for Model Y production. And this Tesla App Store concept is so real, you can almost touch it. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla Model X refresh orders that were placed in late 2020 and 2021 are being pushed back to July 2022. Several Tesla customers that ordered the Model X new design prior to initial deliveries had their delivery dates pushed back recently, solidifying CEO Elon Musk's synopsis that Tesla dropped the ball on the all-electric SUV's manufacturing ramp. Earlier this week, we reported that Musk was extremely critical of Tesla's ramp of the Model X refresh, stating that the company should have handled the task in a different manner. The Tesla CEO said it was a regrettable decision to shelf Model X production altogether because demand was still healthy for the vehicle. Tesla planned to revamp the design of the Model X, along with the Model S, the company's two flagship vehicles. Production of the two cars halted in late 2020, with Tesla announcing the new body styles in early 2021. The Model S made its first deliveries last June, while the Model X made its way to customers for the first time in October. Deliveries did not last long, however, as many owners indicated that their projected delivery dates had been pushed back to late 2021 or early 2022. Now, several Model X orderers are communicating that Tesla pushed back their delivery dates to July 2022. Each of these orders took place between December 2020 to June 2021. Musk said earlier in February that Tesla's main limiting factor for the Model X is interior trim availability. Tesla decided recently to scrap some Model X Plaid interior seating options, limiting this configuration's possible layout to the six-seat selection only. Sources told that the main factor for this decision was Plaid orders seem to have the six-seat selection most often, so Tesla is streamlining the manufacturing process to pick up the pace on deliveries. Moving to the next update, massive new Tesla supercharger coming to Barstow, California. California is home to several of Tesla's largest supercharger stations, with the Santa Monica supercharger currently under construction, topping the list at 62 stalls. Santa Monica might not hold the title for very long after a massive new station has been identified as coming soon to the outlets at Barstow in Southern California. The new site at 2796 Tanger Way was discovered by a drive Tesla contributor Marco who found video from a company called EVI Charge, showing the site being cleared and graded last week. A quick review of the company's Instagram account shows a long history of building supercharger stations. It also includes a video, taken just a few days ago, showing a substantial amount of PVC piping for the underground utilities arriving on site, indicating construction has likely already started. Marco has since been able to confirm with local officials that it will be a supercharger, but details around the number of stalls and amenities were not available. However, when looking at the sheer size of the site, compared to other large superchargers, the Barstow supercharger could make them look small. Given its size, it will likely also include a lounge, solar canopies, and megapacks to help offset the costs of electricity. We'll be keeping a close eye on the progress of construction and update you about its progress. Moving to the next update, Tesla has around 1,046,080 battery cells in Fremont, awaiting shipment to Giga Texas for Model Y production. Tesla has about 1,046,080 battery cells at its manufacturing facility at Cato Road, Fremont, California. The source said, the batteries are awaiting shipment to Giga Texas for Model Y production, with certification to be completed soon. The Tesla Roadrunner project at Cato Road, which develops, test produces, and produces 4680 battery cells, introduced in 2020, is under scrutiny. 
However, no one has been able to get at least some details about what is going on there, except for the occasional non-volumetric and superficial comments from the company's management. Now, for what seems to be the first time ever, more details about the object have emerged. Oliver Zemex from Tesla Motors Club has shared some details regarding the manufacturing process, results, what is happening on the production lines, and Tesla's plans for 4680 battery cells. He said that his relative who works at the factory shared this information with him and backed up the post with an image of the company's performance. According to the description, Oliver's MX shared a chart of the results of 14 production lines on January 22. It shows how many good and bad batteries were produced that day. Green represents good batteries and red is for rejects. As you can see, on that day, they had 14 machines running and produced 92% good batteries, including the 82% bad batteries from machine 212, which I believe was being used that day to train folks from Texas and who will be producing them there in the future," he wrote. This indicates that there is a line in the Cato Road facility where specialists who will soon be responsible for the production of 4680 cells at Giga Texas are trained. In addition, Oliver Zemex said that when this image was shared with him, he was told that there are over 1 million batteries in a warehouse waiting to be shipped to Giga Texas for Model Y production. I was also informed that when this production chart was shared with me a few days ago, that there are over 1 million batteries sitting in a warehouse somewhere waiting to become part of the Model Y structural battery pack being produced in Texas," he wrote. This number of battery cells could equip probably more than 1,000 Model Ys, although the exact number is unknown due to the lack of exact specifications of the batteries. However, Oliver's MX does not have details on whether this is the only batch that is available for shipping to Giga Texas or if batteries have been previously shipped. Therefore, it is difficult to make any assumptions about the performance of the facility. However, even if the company managed to produce 1 million battery cells, this is already incredibly cool. It is worth bearing in mind that it has only been 16 months since the announcement of the 4680 battery cells, and to produce a product on such a scale in such a short time for a company that has never done anything like this is an extremely high achievement. Moving to the last update, this Tesla App Store concept is so real, you can almost touch it. We've heard for a while now that Tesla would be implementing an App Store system to allow third parties to build functionality into the Tesla OS. Today we were tipped to an impressive rendering of what such an App Store would look like, and it almost seems real. The rendering comes via Twitter account, Delete Design. The man behind the account, Hans van de Bruggen, is a design author and has been building Tesla UX prototypes that are getting some notoriety. Tesla CEO Elon Musk has been hinting at an app store since at least 2014 and most recently spoke about it in 2019. In order for it to be worthwhile for somebody to write an app, there has to be enough of an install base to warrant the effort. Even if you are going to port something, it's still got to be worth the effort. As our number of vehicles grow, it starts to potentially makes more sense to develop games and other applications for Tesla. We just need a lot of cars, Musk said. That install base certainly exists now, with over 1 million seats. The latest software update version 11 made a ton of important things harder to do, but it certainly looks like it could make an app store easier. While 1 million cars isn't a huge base, compared to iOS or Android, each of those machines is tied to someone with a great deal of buying power. Likewise, spending $20 on an iOS game might seem expensive, but if you are adding it to your car, it might make more sense. Then, if people are buying things on their car and investing in the Tesla ecosystem, maybe it starts to make sense to make a tablet for Tesla owners to take their apps into their homes. At the very least, Tesla OS makes Tesla a stickier platform, again like iOS or Android. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.